Hey guys, what's up? How you living? Hope you are doing well today. Welcome to a special edition of the Friday Vlog, live and direct from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Well, as I say, it's a special edition of the Friday vlog. It's a Q&A edition. Charlene is here with me. Hi, everybody. Char doesn't want to be in the Q&A. We're actually in a hotel room here in Saskatoon at the beautiful Delta Besbro. Here's a picture of it from across the river. Yeah, so we're up in one of those windows up on the top left somewhere. I reached out a couple days ago on social media and asked you guys to provide questions, Q&A questions about my trip across Canada so far. Tips, destinations I've been, highlights, lowlights, whatever, the sky's the limit as long as it's related to travel here in Canada and this cross most of Canada trip I've been on. I'm about halfway through, I think I'm on day number 33 of the seven week trip. And so just want to jump into it and I'm actually running simultaneously a Facebook Live. So occasionally I'm going to look down to the computer screen down here and get some real time questions from you. That's actually what Char is working on right now. She's going to kind of be manning that computer. So everybody's in on this. It's going to be great. And uh, yeah, let's, let's jump into question number one. So our first question today comes in from Sarah in Montreal and she says this, what's my top favorite three places in Canada and why? Well, that's a great question, Sarah. Thanks for sending that in. And number one, without a shadow of a doubt, has got to be Montreal. Love the city of Montreal. Have been there probably uh, half a dozen or more times, sometimes on my own, sometimes with friends, sometimes with Charlene. And every time I go to Montreal, it's absolutely phenomenal. It's got a great transportation hub. Uh, it's got great views and places to see. Uh, it's incredibly diverse ethnically, and I love that about the city of Montreal. So the city of Montreal, definitely one of the top places I love in Canada. The second one I'm gonna say was actually Winnipeg, which is a surprise. I've been to Winnipeg before in the winter. It probably wasn't in my top three for the winter in Winnipeg, but summer in Winnipeg. Uh, just the other day I was there, and it was really, really beautiful. That's number two. Uh, number three, favorite place in Canada, Vancouver Island. I live there, my family's there, my friends are there and I love Vancouver Island, beautiful place. So top three places in Canada. Okay, the next question, how many new people did you meet on your trip across Canada? And I'm still in the midst of my trip across Canada, but I've met some incredible people on the trip so far. I would say that the, the best place that I've met people kind of condensed en masse has been on the train. A lot of the people on the train were from the Canada 150 promotion that Via Real did through the month of July. The trip from Winnipeg to Saskatoon, it was a daytime trip. There was just a whole bunch of people that were together and we were just from all over Canada. We were visiting, we were sharing stories about life and about what we'd seen so far. A lot of people were talking about Halifax and out in the maritime provinces and we're gonna be interacting with one another into the future. So that was probably the best group of people that I've met so far on this trip. Okay, next question comes in from Gemma, and Gemma asked this, uh, have you realized that you didn't bring something that you'd wish you had taken on this trip? You know, I was pretty thorough before I left trying to make sure I wouldn't forget anything because it is a seven week trip I'm on. What did I forget to, I don't think I forgot, I'm looking at my wife here, Charlene, who's hanging out with us. Did I forget to bring anything? Did I tell you? I don't think I forgot to bring anything actually. I think I did okay on this trip uh, in bringing stuff. So what was my favorite item that I brought? Definitely a blanket. Turns out it was super useful for traveling on the train. The train is incredibly cold at night. I don't know if they turn the air conditioning on to freeze people out, I have no idea. That was the best item I could have packed because it kept me from freezing on the train. So thanks Gemma for your question. That's an answer to that one. So the next question comes from Sarah and she asked this, if I had to do the trip with someone else and I had to bring along someone else on the trip that inspired me or that I admire, who would it be? It would definitely be my wife Charlene. I had to leave her and my family behind as I went off on this trip and man, I really have been missing her. She's actually with me right now, here hanging out off camera. She would be the one person that I would have brought with me if I could have brought anybody else. She's somebody who inspires me. She's been somebody that I admire and she would definitely be a great traveling companion. So I, I wish I'd brought Charlene along with me. It's been great as we've caught up today in the last couple days here in Saskatoon and just uh, all the stories to tell about this trip so far. All right, so my next question comes from Andrew and he asks, what was your greatest challenge and how did you overcome it? What did you learn from it? Man, I think my greatest challenge has been just patience. Uh, patience came through in a couple of ways. I was on the train across Canada 
and I didn't realize it at the time, but the train is pretty notorious for being late. And so I had planned out a number of steps on my trip that had to correspond kind of time-wise, uh, making connections, connecting with people, all this kind of stuff. And they were just falling apart because the train was late or the train was early, more late than early. So I had to adapt on the fly. And so I just had to learn patience. I had to just kind of let go and say, you know what? This trip is going to unfold as it unfolds. I can't control it. So I'm just going to I'm just going to lean back, let it happen and absolutely roll with it. So that's I think was my biggest challenge on this trip and I think that was the biggest thing that I learned was just a reminder that hey, it's going to be okay. People adapt and patience is a good thing. So guys, I uh, as I'm recording this video, as I mentioned up at the front end, I'm also doing a Facebook Live at the same time. And one of the questions that just came in from Facebook from Josh was, what's the best food I've eaten on the entire trip so far? Without a doubt, I've got to say the best food I've eaten was in Montreal. It was at Schwartz's Smoked Meat Delicatessen. And I was on Reddit sharing this and I had all sorts of people from Montreal saying, no, there's better places to eat than that. But for me, for this trip so far, it has definitely been Schwartz's. It's a classic sandwich in a beautiful city. That would be the favorite place that I've eaten and the favorite food that I've eaten so far along the trip. That was the favorite food for Canada so far. All right, final question. What's the thing that most caught your attention on your trip across Canada? two answers to this and the first one's a fun one was definitely the moose that I saw as we were traveling through the Great Canadian Shield. A bunch of us were talking all of a sudden somebody said moose and we all turned and we looked out the window and there was this moose not probably 40 feet away from the train and he was just kind of chilling there kind of eating and I grabbed my camera and took some footage. I'm gonna insert it right here. That's the moose, he went by pretty quick, but uh, that was definitely one of the most incredible things. But my second thing, the favorite thing, was at Niagara Falls. Uh, you get to be so close to the water in Niagara Falls as it's just pouring over the edge. I think I learned that it was 84,000 cubic feet, cubic square feet of water every second goes over Niagara Falls. So that was pretty amazing and it was so close to it. You, you couldn't quite reach out and touch the water, but you were close to touching the water and the spray was coming up. You know, that was an incredible experience. I've seen a lot of waterfalls in my life. That's definitely the biggest one I've ever seen before. I wasn't even down in a boat in the bottom looking up. I was just looking at it from the top down and it was absolutely incredible to see. So, hey guys, thanks for tuning in and sticking with me through this Q&A of my trip so far across all of Canada. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you liked it, make sure you hit that thumbs up on your way out. There's more videos like this coming from my trip all across Canada. I've got a number of weeks left yet, so don't miss any. Hit subscribe, hit the notifications bell so you know when I post them, and we'll see you guys next time. In the meantime, get outside, enjoy creation wherever you are. Cheers.